dead stop in Sport Plus and it just lets it down. Oh! I can't even freaking control. Traction control is freaking cut in. <laughs> what's going on welcome back to the channel today we're going to be modding our 2022 toyota supra again something that i think that this car really needs i'm mostly happy with it because i've been taking this build a little bit slower than anything else i've ever done on the channel and there's a good reason why i think that the car is honestly pretty set up pretty well from the factory but today we're going to be addressing an issue something that has been driving me absolutely bonkers nuts so hopefully we'll be able to fix this issue today that i have with the car because we can't tune it. Now, luckily, Burger Motorsports, they sent us the JB4, so we have the piggyback tune. We have an E30 blend of fuel in the tank that gives us a bunch of power, and it absolutely obliterates the tires. We've done our intake as well. We've done some other cosmetic bits here and there. We've done some of the carbon fiber stuff, but today, we're going to address some throttle response. The transmission in these, the 8-speed transmissions in these are really good, and the tuning from the factor is really good too, but we have an issue with throttle response. So today, we're going to be installing one of these. I've never done one of these before, so you guys are probably familiar with what these are. If you're not, what it does is it amps up the voltage in your pedal, okay? One of the things that contributes to the way that the car shifts and takes off and acceleration, yada, 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 is your throttle input. So when you adjust the voltage, it's going to shift a little bit faster. It's going to get in the power band faster. It's just going to improve the drivability of this car, hopefully tenfold. So today we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be installing we're going to go for our first drive with a pedal commander and see if it's actually worth the hype should you buy this or not stay tuned we're going to answer that in today's video let's go jumping into it we're going to unbox this see what you get in the package like i said really nice like reinforced case this is really cool might actually want to hold on to it because let's do this one-handed if we can come on baby come on get out of there we have our pedal commander here which basically is going to pigtail in between the uh, throttle and the car's harness, the OEM harness. You can also download an app to control this thing via Bluetooth and in case you care, I personally don't, but just in case you live in California or some other blue states, these are carb compliance. So basically you can run this in all 50 states and be safe. But anyway, so like I said, just in case you care, I personally don't. So we're gonna rock forward and move on. All right, so we're gonna jump forward into the installation, into the interior. It's gonna be really fast, really easy. And then we're gonna go through the tuning aspect of it and test out all these different drive modes and also play with the app. All right, to get started, we're gonna pull up our factory mat here. Now there's a little plug on this guy right here. It's like a T25 or maybe a T30, something like that. It's already loose. Already got it loosened, so we'll just go through the motions here, just so you guys are aware. This whole thing is gonna kind of slide up and out of the way, and then we can find our factory plug back here. So I'm gonna have to get my face all up in this camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it, and we'll just jump to it, but, but you'll just disconnect this factory plug back here. All right, so just truth be told, that is an absolute nightmare to get out, just the angle to get to it. But anyway, just, uh, it's got little push tabs on each side, and it will slide off. So this is what that looks like. Now, with your new pedal commander, it's basically self-explanatory. It's gonna plug in between with your factory harness. And then we're going to route the wires. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually remove this panel here. It should just kind of like pop free. I don't like anything to be like visible. So I want it to be as hidden as possible. So I'm gonna try to figure out how best to do that. And then we'll address it. And then I'll show you guys the post install of where I've actually mounted this thing. Um, and then we'll go for our first drive. All right guys, so I changed my mind on the location. Instead of tucking wires up under here, I didn't want to disconnect this entire dash and I don't think that you need to after doing what I've done. So this is kind of what I did. I just picked this little corner of the, uh, the lower trim here, use the double-sided Velcro and kind of tuck the wires up underneath. Now, the back side of this, when you go to reassemble your Supra uh, pedal, it's going to kind of clip down and then sink down into its location, its factory location there. So anyway, and this is the only wire. Now again, you could be more creative. You could put this behind the carpet if you want to, but just for the sake of time in this video, this is what we've done. It's coming down just like this. And uh, so we take a step back from the vehicle. Can't really even tell. So it's in, it's installed. Let's give it a shot. Let's go through the modes and go for a test drive. Let's see if this is worth your money. All right, let's go for a test drive. Got everything installed. 
Got a little GoPro action going on too because we've got to play with the phone. We've got to play with the app. I'm going to be doing uh, everything on the fly with the app since it interfaces Bluetooth with the new pedal commander. Let's get fired up in our Toyota Supra. Let's let everything warm up, come to life. You know, a lot of people may be thinking as we get warmed up here in the car, you know, is this kind of a gimmicky thing? And I've kind of maybe been... I can't, I can't deny that I haven't maybe thought about that over the years too, because I've never experienced one of these. And so this is all like real time and I haven't driven the car and then filmed and this isn't like fake reaction or whatever. This is gonna be all like real in the moment, what we're gonna be feeling. So let's go ahead and connect to our pedal commander on the commander itself, okay? And got some cool graphics here so we're gonna start off in eco mode yes I want to switch to eco mode and now here's something cool too so uh, while you're in eco city sport or even sport plus then you also have plus or minus over here as well so it looks like you can again continue to increase sensitivity or decrease as you really like it oh my gosh it's raining I don't know what we're gonna do for traction guys this is gonna be bad but we are driving, we're gonna make this happen nonetheless. So, yeah, you know, we have a piggyback tune with JB4, we've got E30, we've got the intake, we have a catalyst downpipe, I forgot to mention that. So, I don't know what we're pushing to the ground power-wise, but, all right, I'm on the floor, and it was like just now starting to take off. And uh, anyway, so I've got Bimmer code, some Bimmer code stuff in this Toyota Super already unlocked, like the Sport Plus mode, which is supposed to increase throttle sensitivity it does but it's still limited it's still not probably like this so first reaction we are in eco mode and i had to basically floor it to get the car to move and i'm in sport mode by default with the bimmer code stuff turned on so that is pretty freaking crazy we're gonna live dangerously no let's just go city no let's go sport let's just go sport so let's take a left here all right Man, it sucks that it's raining. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Oh, we spun the tires. All right, it works. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe, dude. <laughs> Freaking jerked me around. Oh, we're gonna have to make a part two to this. We're gonna have to make a second video, guys, when we have some dry road, but for first reactions, yep, yep. So barely pushing the gas pedal and it's spinning tires. That's so stupid. That is freaking retarded. I didn't think that. Okay, let's go back to Eco. Yes, I want to switch back. And I'm going to. So we're at like 2500 RPM. I'm floored. And now it's starting to go. That's crazy. It's so delayed. That's amazing. All right. Um, cool, there's actually GPS on this app too. Let's go to Sport Plus. Let me come to a stop. Let's see how stupid this is gonna be, how aggressive. So I'm at a dead stop in Sport Plus and it <laughs> just lets it down. Oh! I can't even freaking control. Traction control is freaking cut in. <laughs> what the heck, dude? That was nuts. The car like didn't know what to do. Freaking traction control because it's roasting the tires. <sighs> that's that's brilliant. So part of the car shifting around, one of the things that makes this uh, super so special, I think, is and great to drive is the way that the transmission shifts when you're like sport mode. Okay, so now that we have more throttle sensitivity, that should increase. Or, or piggyback and benefit the shifting capability, the transmission in this car is, it's just, wow. That's almost too sensitive. So, let's go to city mode. That's even better than the factory sport plus. That's a crazy dude. All right, let me get turned around here. I just washed this car too, and we're gonna drive through the mud real quick. Yeah. All right, for science, and for all you guys watching, let's turn traction control, not all the way up, but off. And we're gonna put it back 
into sport mode and see what things do. All right. Oh, just blew the tires up. Oh my gosh. in the rain what's going to happen let's go ahead and push the uh, we're gonna to toggle give it the remember we can increase and decrease inside of that particular sport mode so we went all the way to the top so we have as much sensitivity as possible oh, sorry got it <laughs> traction the car is bucking all over the place but it's gonna make it feel a lot more aggressive. And that's one of the, the highlights about the Supra, is like it may not be the most powerful thing, horsepower wise on paper as this or that, but the way that the power comes in, remember these cars start to dip into like, like peak torque at like 1900 RPM or something crazy low. Like it comes in real fast. Supras, these Mark Vs are really alive at lower RPM. Okay, with the turbo setup and everything they come with the factory so they feel really really good on the street i want to make a video about this in the future comparing it to some of the other past cars i've had the mustangs but as far as super goes that's just what you get when you buy one of these cars is a lot of street presence and feel and it's a lot of fun but there's always been that throttle sensitivity, delay, whatever you want to call it, from the factory, even with the JB4, even with unlock, unlocking uh, the Sport Plus mode from the you know, Bimmerco app and all that. It got better, but it's not like this. This is retarded, retarded better in a, in a good way. This is insane. This is nuts. All right. So. Sport Plus again. So what if we go all the way down? Just pull the tires off, pull the tires off. Let's do it again. So let's put it back on, let's go all the way up. Oh my gosh. The car is doing like this because it's, I'm trying to, it's like I'm pedal dancing, like I'm learning how to drive a manual. That's how sensitive it is. This is nuts. This is absolutely brilliant. Sport, regular sport. That feels so much better. This is like the missing link. I feel like this is the missing link that this is what I've been wanting out of the car. Like we had the power, you know, countless downpipe, uh, JB4 tune, custom map with a splash of E30 in the gas tank. So we have a lot of power uh, at our disposal. But what we did not have was a, uh, a properly behaving transmission uh, via lack of throttle response. Now we have that. Um, 100% confident to say that. And I haven't even like floored this thing yet because it's freaking so wet outside. So let's make this as part, let's make it the part two. Which is good for us because you get to see this. We know that it's, that it's a real deal. We know that this thing works. We know that this is the real deal. I'm super pumped, super excited about this. I'm just driving around, driving around through my neighborhood. Um, so let's do a part two video. So make sure that you like, share, subscribe to the channel if you want to see how crazy things get with the Supra. Soon as it's dry outside, we're gonna be hitting the road, putting this thing to the test in our modded Supra with our pedal commander, and we're gonna turn things up and go full send and see actually how good this thing really is. And so far, I am blown away impressed. We're obliterating tires, obliterating tires. This is nuts. All right, I digress, guys. That's the video. I appreciate you guys watching. 
Um, if you are on the fence about buying one of these, yep, this is your video. Go buy one because, um, yeah, especially with the Supra, there's not a lot of content out there with the pedal commander and with the Supras. So it definitely works, definitely worth your money. Oh, by the way, there is discount codes in the video description. So go down there and check them out and save some money. I'll see you guys later.